First, a new addition to Progressive American Flat Track. This is the Mission Foods Too Fast, Too Tasty Challenge, a four-lap shootout with our four best from the semi with some big bucks on the line. Yeah, this is really exciting for these riders. Put a $5,000 carrot in front of their face and have them go at it for four laps. It's going to be really exciting. Yep, winner take all four lap shootout. These are the four riders you saw up front of the semis. Mies, Halbert, Beach with a great launch on that 95 Yamaha. Robinson in the 44, and here we go. JD yeah, with the awesome hole shot. Don't really see him not getting the hole shot on that S. Then Yamaha takes over going into turn three. Sammy Halbert gets taken over by Brandon Robinson, slides underneath him for second. And there's Mies now tucking it in. The hole created by Robinson. Mies takes over third. And that's the kind of action you like in AFT. Yeah, these riders got to make moves really quick. Only four laps. Not a lot of time to get it done. Brandon Robinson wants to take home the first win in this Too Fast, Too Tasty Mission Super Ooh. Twins. That was a great run going into turn three. Takes over. Let's see if JD is able to square him back up. Not quite. If you haven't watched this type of racing before, prepare to be amazed. It's a game of inches and the trust these guys have with each other when they're battling. That was so close. <laughs> and somehow Robinson found an opening. Yeah, it sure is, Jason. But uh, now he's putting his head down. Got probably about three, four bike links on him. See if Jared Mees is able to get by JD now. Robinson, fast in qualifying, fast in his semi. Now getting away from Beach Mees and everyone else in this Too Fast, Too Tasty Challenge. What a statement. Five grand on the line for the first time as we roll out this new format for 2021. And here's the man who's going to take it, the 44, Brandon Robinson. Yeah, this is just a showing what he might be able to do in the main event. These guys are going to be going back to the pit area, shaking their heads, wondering what they're going to have to do to be able to compete against him. Lots of contenders, and everyone believes they're in it. They're all tied in points. It's the opening round for AFT singles here from Volusia. Let's go racing. Oh, and a great launch for both KTMs, and Shayna Texter Bauman with a hole shot. Wow, not normally her specialty, and that's a great launch. Yeah, definitely a great start by Shannon Texter. That's not what the competition behind her wanted to see. She has clean air in front of her. See, she's able to set sail. And you got Dallas Daniels up to third on the Estenson Yamaha. So big names up front early. It's a perfect setup. Let's get some action in here in Florida. Yeah, definitely shaping up to be a great race so far. Dallas Daniels definitely needs to get in the second as soon as he can. Shannon Texter, she's, uh, she's been a girl on a mission today. Oh, yeah. Big changes to the motorcycle from where they were running it last year. It's paid off so far. Mikey Rush, no stranger to winning races here in the Sunshine State. He's up to fourth and looking for running room around his teammate Daniels. Yeah, you can see Max Whale. He's definitely slipping around a lot more than Shannon Texter. You see her keeping her wheels in line, not really busting traction, where Max is having a lot more issues, especially in the center of the corner. You can see here, see if he does it the same as he did the, that before. Yeah, right there, he's just sliding a little bit more and just losing a lot of time on Shana. Shana now starting to stretch it out. And Wales got to watch. Got two Yamahas looking to gang up on him. They distance themselves a bit from the rest of the field at the moment, but see if they slow each other up as they start battling. So yeah, it's very abrasive on these tires. Oh, here's something abrasive. Uh, Whale wanted to focus in on the lead, but instead he's got to deal with the rider behind him. Dallas Daniels is looking to go and get to that second spot. He's got an opening. Whoa. And he, Dallas, he's trying to do a little bit of a high-low maneuver. You see him come in just a tad bit higher, coming into the corner, and trying to get it turned to get that run off the corner, but just not quite enough to seal it up at the end of the straightaway. So you think, is Whale holding Daniels up? Is Daniels like, I got to get around this guy and go for the leader? I definitely think he's holding him up a little bit. You can see Shannon, she's starting to pull away, and that's just making both Mikey Rush and Dallas Daniels a little bit more antsy because they know they got to get around Whale not let her get away. Bus sideways, Lil, we got a red flag wow. here. Wow. Looks like uh, it's a red bike down, maybe Henry Wiles. Oh no, that's a new effort with Honda. Henry Wiles considered to be a title contender. I haven't seen anything yet, hope he's okay. There he is, uh, all right. Got the chain off the motorcycle, that's Jeez. pretty uncharacteristic. Uh, Look at Dallas Daniels. Mm -hmm. He's tracking down the leader now. We now have a battle for the lead. Systematically, slowly but surely, Daniels has gotten to the rear tire of your leader. So it's Texter Bauman against Daniels, two of the high-profile names. And wow, they have left the rest of the field behind. 
Yeah, Dallas is catching up to Shanna, but in her defense, it's so much easier to follow than the lead. So Shanna's up front. She's just trying to pace herself, not make any mistakes, not trying to push too hard to make one of those mistakes where Dallas is behind her and just kind of using her to gauge off of. He can run it into the corner just a little bit deeper and make up that time. It's just, yeah, a lot easier to follow than it is to lead. Uh, but how easy is it for him to pass? Is that going to be tough? That's going to be really tough. I mean, she's not making any mistakes right now. And really, I mean, to be able to go around on the outside that you just got to carry so much more speed so really he has to look for either a mistake or press the issue and come in and get aggressive and make her move out of the way but that's uh you know taking a risk of taking yourself out as well okay so the clock i believe yeah it's expired so it's two to go here and this is as close as daniels has been we got a real shootout for the opening round win Let's see him come in it's a little wider he's going to try to get it turned and get the run off the corner but Man, there just isn't a bunch of room there. Okay, he's gonna start high, try to go underneath. White flag is out, last lap, coming out of turn two. Does Daniels have a line? Maybe into three. He's gonna have to really bury it into the corner, try to get a turn, we'll see if he's able to do it. Ooh, he's got daylight, he's got an opening. Can Shayna get a drive out of four? She does, Shayna text her. That's a big one, takes the win here in Volusia and in that huge battle for the podium. It's gonna be another Yamaha on the box. Mikey Rush just able to hold off well, and that is a big one for Shane and Texter Bauman. Here's the replay on the last lap. Yeah, definitely a great job by Shane. She just keeps her wheels in line. I mean, she won by over a, a bike length there. She, that was textbook. Yeah, in flat track, that's a big lead. Let's go racing. Uh, looks like a good start by Ray Brandon Robinson. He's the closest to the racing line. Gets a bike hooked up, takes over the whole shot. Okay, and it's gonna be Mies and Beach battling for the number two spot. Beach has it, and they're going at it already. Yeah, Beach riding toe, see if he's able to keep pace with Brandon Robinson. This is a great showing already for JD. Yeah, did not let Robinson get away. It's a little odd because uh, Robinson, he has the grid choice, so he wanted to pick the outside, right? Oh, for sure. If you can start closer to the racing line, that's where the traction is. So the quicker you can get to that, the more you're going to be able to get the power to the ground and accelerate. And it worked, but for how long? Beach, this distance in Yamaha, they've got a hot rod. He is looking for an opening. He wants to lead. Yeah, it looks like Brand Robinson's actually holding him up a little bit. JD right there. They call him Jiggy Dog. It's been a long time road racing, now back full time in flat track. Last year, a bit of an off season. They have clearly got the motorcycle figured out now. JD wants this win badly. Yeah, JD is one of the fiercest competitors I've ever raced against. We grew up racing together in Washington State. He works so hard at this, and him and his team really deserve a good finish like this for how much effort they've been putting into it. But you've got the Roof Systems Mission Squad of Robinson. They are contenders as well, and they pulled away a bit. As a matter of fact, it's closer. Mies has more competition from behind than in front, the 69, the Coolbeth Nyla racing machine. There he is. Yeah, you got the defending champ, Briar Bauman, in fifth. He's kind of losing, uh, losing sight of both Mies and Halbert right now, but this is a long race. Maybe Bauman's lurking back there, saving his tire. I mean, we talked about earlier about, you know, you can't go too fast too early or that rear tire could get hot and go away. So maybe Bauman's having a little bit of a strategy here, but it seems like... Uh, you know, it's a little too far away. He has his younger brother, Bronson, actually in six, has caught up to him now as well. Yeah, they are battling closely. So we'll see the chess match. Is anyone out there saving something to keep the rubber on the rear tire? Or is it an all-out fight? I think Mies might be drawing up on the lead duo just slightly. Yeah, and we got uh, Colby Carlisle here as well that's doing really well on the Yamaha. It's good showing with him right on the backside of Jared Vanderkoy, his first time on the Indian motorcycle. Back to the front here, JD still, still pacing Brandon Robinson. This is impressive. I would have thought that Brandon Robinson was gonna check out by how good he was going both in his semifinal and the uh, too, fa too fast, too tasty dash for cash. Yeah, JD giving him all he can handle. I thought Mies was closing the gap a bit. Not really, it's about where it was. So it's still a one-on-one -on -one fight. The Indian motorcycle versus the Yamaha, and Beach still looking for an opening. Okay, Mies, I think, is starting to pick it up now, and he's bringing Halbert with him. For sure, and like we were talking about before, these riders might just all be pacing each other. I mean, they, they say, hey, this is a long, 
long race. As long as you keep the other rider in sight, don't let him get away and be there at the end. I mean, that last five laps, if you can pace the rider, obviously, yeah, that last five laps is most important. So now I saw him. J.D. Beach, he's been there the whole time, and J.D. definitely doesn't get tired, and he always gets better as the race goes on. But, you know, Brandon Robinson, I think he's probably just wanting to put the hammer down now. He's uh, got a couple more bike lengths than he did before. Okay, so Robinson has been so fast every time he's been on the bike throughout this weekend. We were surprised he could not get away from the field early, but now late, he's pouring it on. Yeah, he really is, and got great throttle control. You don't really see the bike slip sideways, neither one of them. I mean, they're, they're almost road racing the bikes around the way that they're uh, tracking through the corners. And they have left everyone else behind. Jared Means, Sammy Halbert, third and fourth, we're starting to close, but now in the stretch run, they pulled it back out. So that's what we wanted to see. Who else can get in there and battle the like me likes of Mies for this title? Might have two answers right here. For sure. Looking at the lap times, it seems like Jared's about a tenth faster than these two, but now that they're closing to the end of the race, it's almost too little too late. Look at Breyer on the backside of Sammy Halbert wow. now. He needs to get by his Sammy. I mean, letting Jared and these riders up front you know, one position at the end of the uh, end of the year could be the difference between a championship or not. So Breyer has struggled pretty far back in fit most of the race. He has caught Halbert. Mies has gotten away from Halbert, but Halbert's stingy. He's not going to make it easy if Bauman wants to get around. No, he's defensive. He knows how to make himself wide, put the elbows up. And uh, if you get by him, he'll re he'll repay the favor too. So you got to be careful about that. So Briar Bauman up to fourth ahead of Halbert Mees third. Beach is second, but it has been all about Brandon Robinson throughout the day. And it's looking good now for the big one. The opening round main event goes to Brandon Robinson. Look at the enthusiasm. There comes Briar Bauman in fourth place. Look at the enthusiasm of J.D. Beach though. You would have thought that he won the race. I mean, I'm uh, just really happy for that team and all the hard work that they put in. This, this second place has to feel good. Absolutely. The Yamahas are on it, at least for the opener. So a second probably feels like a first after a rough season. Let's put some money on the line and go racing here in Volusia. And Brandon Price of the 92 got the jump, but once they shifted gears, it goes to the Indian motorcycles of both Bauman and Mies, and they're duking it out. Yeah, Jared has had that little bit of extra momentum from starting around the outside, takes over the lead. Brand Price slides up in the second. Look at Breyer. Wow. Goes underneath him, tries to at least, not able to make it happen. That was impressive, the firing back, but no, Brandon Price was kind of underrated, I feel, last year. He had certain rounds where he was as fast as anyone. Let's see if he can bring some heat to the five-time champ. Yeah, him and Jared had an amazing race at Atlanta. I mean, it was all the way to the end. He's uh, definitely an up-and-comer. I'm uh, excited to see what's to come from him and his uh, future career. Yeah, big progress from night one to night two for Bronson in third. Huge progress for Price, but not quite enough because Jared Mees is going to lead him. Well, Price giving another shot at he it. He ran it in there deep, getting everything he can, but uh, Jared Mees gets a run off the corner, going to bring it home to the checkered. Woo, there it is. The Mission Too Fast, Too Tasty Challenge, $5,000, goes to Jared Mees. And for me, he's always looking for an edge at any time. It's not just about the money. I'm sure it's notes and confidence heading into tonight's main event. Eight minutes and two laps. It's our singles final. Here we go. Great start again from Shannon Texter on the outside. This is definitely not what the guys want to see again. Exactly what she did last night. And Shayna usually having to come from the back, but she has had the starts dialed this time. It's Trent Lowe going to put the challenge to her early. Yeah, Trent's looking awesome on the Wally Brown Suzuki, supported by Rowdy Energy. Let's see if he's able to keep pace with her. And, oh, she slips a little wide. See if he's able to get the run. This is it. Looking good. Finally, someone gets an opening on Shayna. Oh, Let's see. Down push. on the inside. Oh, that was a good effort. Just didn't quite add enough. Shayna shut the door on him, but he's still going for it, though. Man, he's right on the bottom edge of that groove, taking some chances. And look out, Tanner Dean in third. He wants to take advantage of either of those two go wide. Wow, so this was the rider Lowe is battling for the lead. Now he's all the way at the back of this group. That's how quickly it can change. And Mishler made a bunch of passes already. Why not some more and take the lead? Yeah, he's uh, really trying that high line, being able to keep up a little bit more momentum. 
He's see if he's able to get over the lead, take over the lead here. This is exciting racing. Yeah, no one was able to get around Shayna on lap, or sorry, on night one. She's led every lap. Will it happen here on night two? Mishler looking for running room. She just gets such good drives off the corner. She's able, it seems like the rider's able to suck up coming in. They run it in just a little bit deeper, but you know, getting into the corner isn't nearly as important as getting off. You gotta be able to get your wheels back in line and get that acceleration off the corner, and she's doing that really well. Here's Whoa. the replay going into turn three. You can see Morgan Mischer just getting the run on Trent Lowe. Oh, he touches the side of his side of his swing arm there a little bit. I mean, uh, didn't necessarily clip his handlebar, but definitely an aggressive move. Oh, it is heating up two minutes and two laps to go. Texter fighting back. Her and Mishler side by side. Mishler holds on. Uh, she knows how to get aggressive. She's already trying. Look at, oh, that's Daniels. Dallas Daniels trying to go around the outside, though. She's, oh, let's see that. She's just like, nope, I'm going to take it back over. Kind of got in the side of Dallas a little bit. Tanner Dean actually takes over the fourth place now. How do you stay in the moment when you make a mistake and you go from, say, first to third? How do you put that behind you immediately and focus on getting them back? Because that's what she's doing. How she does it again, I think that just fires you up. I okay. mean, it really, you know, you, you, it's just like losing something. You don't want to lose that, so you, this gives you that extra little bit of aggression. As she comes back and goes underneath the groove and slides right into the front of Mikey Rush. That, that was, was unbelievable. Yeah. From third to first, she just found the afterburner switch and rush has to reset now yeah both dallas and maxwell they want to get up and get on the podium i mean uh dallas and both of them really you know be there for the championship every every position counts this is it on the back stretch for the final time half a lap to go does rush have something ah, he's gonna have to really pull a rabbit out of his hat shane is just so strong right now oh, oh, coming out close. of four finds opening not uh, big enough Shayna Texter starts the year with back-to-back -back wins. That was impressive by Rush, though. He was really pouring it on there. Just Shayna was just a little too fast coming off of turn four. <laughs> What's going to happen tonight? Let's go racing from Volusia. Good jump on the inside by Price, but it's going to be Bauman leading them into turn one on the number one. Yeah, Briar Bauman gets a great hole shot. Jared Mee is already looking up the inside. This is going to be a great race between these two. Yep, they got a little revenge on the mind after being pushed to third and fourth at the opener. Let's see if Price or anyone else can run with him. Maybe the other, Bauman Bronson, who is fourth. Briar Bauman back to his customary spot up front with the always determined, and I, I mean it when I talk about Jared Meese. I cover a lot of motorsports. I don't know if there's anyone that lives to win and put in every last bit of focus and effort to win races quite like Jared Meese. Yeah, you're definitely right. He's a, he's a fierce competitor, probably the most fierce competitor I ever raced against. He's going to go to work on Briar Bauman here. Yeah, he wants to prevent Briar from making a statement early in this season. Briar right now opening up just a little bit, but we saw throughout all the main events here at Volusia, what happens at the beginning is not a guarantee of the way it's going to happen at the end. That's not quite the case anymore. As we flash back to last night's winners, they're still back there. But now it's eighth and ninth instead of first and second, trying to get around Robbie Pearson. Yeah, Robbie Pearson, uh, he, he's a really good rider, a veteran of the sport, and he's had a couple uh, podiums to his name. Looking good here tonight, but him and uh, both Brandon Robinson and Shady Beach want to get by because they got to be able to catch up and get towards the podium. Pulling away from everyone he wants the title back this year. The best battle on the track, Brandon Price and Bronson Bauman for a top five. Yeah, great run by these guys. Uh, but look at this. Brandon Robinson has now caught up to him. He's made up a lot of ground on him. But he's made up that ground. Now it's uh, the hard part is going to be getting around them. This is the race of the night back here. Yeah. Look at uh, Jared Vandercoy is back in the fight now. That is strange. He might pass all three riders back before it's over. Vandercoy trying to get around the 44 of Robinson. And Price dealing with pressure from the 37 of Bronson Bauman. Yeah, Bronson's kind of caught in a pickle right now. I mean, he doesn't want to try to go around the outside too much because if he leaves that door open, you know, Robinson's going to be there to to, to, to shut it. So, uh, yeah, he, he really has to be careful. So yeah, I think he's just really playing it safe, trying to make a way up the inside or wait for a mistake. You always know at the beginning of a championship that Jared Meese will show up ready. It is no different in 2021. One of the best to ever do it has won again. Jared Meese takes the victory. Look at this battle. Robinson has made the pass on Bauman. 
Yeah, Robinson just slid, slid around the outside there, carried his momentum, brings home a top five finish. That was uh, a good salvage for him from where he started. Absolutely, and Brandon Price, nice progress from where he was on night one. We'll finish up in fourth. Halbert Bauman, third, second, and there, Mies and the familiar crew and work with the same folks for a long time, and they've got their A game in 2021. Definitely. That's actually Jared's father that he's taken for a victory ride there. It's pretty cool to be yeah. able to take your dad for a victory ride. Hey, motorsports fans, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit subscribe before you go for all the latest news and highlights across motorsports.